Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Messina, Italy. We are here for a very fun day out and about in Messina. We're actually going to go to Tormina on an excursion through the cruise ship. So it's going to be a great, great day. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to share a lot with you as we experience it together. It's going to be a spectacular day. Totally new, totally different. We're back in Italy. Let's check it out. Okay, they just called our group, Group 24, to Ormina on our own. Off we go. We, uh, it's been kind of said over and over again, we need to have photo ID for this port and probably all ports in Italy. Much more intense than Greece. I'm guessing they have a, a different requirement. Who knows, but to Ormina today, let's do it. First steps in Messina, Italy, Sicily. This is gonna be a spectacular adventure. Looking for bus number 24, I see 23, and there's 24. Right there. Here's the first checkpoint. Apparently there's several of them. So yeah, got to have that ID triple checking it right now. I got it. Off we go. Okay, we're making our way now and our driver is actually giving us an emergency <laughs> number that we can use in the event of emergency to call just in case. During the, the winter, because uh, the Kia that is the one that has secondary school, I pray you to respect the time you arrive uh, in time. Okay, our bus driver just dropped us off here. We have three hours, but we have to take the elevator because we're seven floors up in a parking structure. And a lot of other buses here too, so. Yep, we'll uh, be back here with plenty of time to spare. Uh, we're starting it off with uh, several other groups. Been in line for a while here, um, trying to get up to level seven. We're on level one. And there's seven flights of stairs you could take, but waiting for the elevator. We'll see when we get there. Well, we have made it to Toromina, and our tour guide has told us specifically where we're going to be. And check out the car. It's hanging out with us here. That is pretty cool. A good entryway into Tormina, indeed. Okay, we've made it to, I'm gonna call it the Gate of Tormina. Probably got a different name, but I guess our tour guide, we know where he is. All right, here we are. Okay, our uh, very kind tour guide brought us to the main street, made sure we found it safely. No, we know where to find him again. So that was really helpful and Time for some shopping and browsing. I'll, take, I'll keep a lookout for the uh, no camera things to see if I can show you what I, what I see, but this is gonna be a fun day. Look at the fountain there, more of the public uh, water areas. You've got gelato, sunglasses, hats, more of the merchandise, and then of course, the incredible rich architecture that we see here in the older slash newer part. I don't know what it's called, Toromina is where we are. Look at the flags right here, all these shops kind of built in to the old stores. Wow. Finally found a store that didn't have a no filming sign in the front. I've been really trying to pay attention to that because I know some of these uh, shop owners are not a huge fan of the filming. So but you can see here they got a lot of cool stuff all for uh, Sicily. This one's a much bigger store. Some of them are really, really small. Really cool uh, porcelain there all around. Beautiful spot. It just keeps going and going here in Sicily. Really, really nice area here. Ooh, puppets, that's cute. You can get, oh my gosh, look at this pathway right there. That's a gorgeous shot. I don't know if you caught that, but that last shot, it actually said no photos as it was coming upon it. Did you see that? I'll, maybe I'll flash a shot of it just from the screen grab, because I didn't I didn't know. I mean, it's just like a pathway here. How am I supposed to know it's not okay for photos? I see Mickey and Minnie. I also see a no video and photography sign. So it's just like a theme here. So take all of this in, going back and forth. Entered a whole other section of this area here. You can see there's a little platform area right over there. We got the Louis Vuitton store in front of us. Lots of restaurants, hotels, little kiosks with gifts. Very cool. That sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. All that good emotion. Just my kind of heat. Keep it on repeat. Tested by the potion. Love it, this the potion. All right, here it is, a pistachio cannoli from Sic uh, Sicily. Well, I can tell you this one is um, a lot lighter than what you'd find in the States. It's good, it's good. You can say you could try it on official, you know, Italian cannoli, but it's, uh, it's kind of minor in flavor. It's not amazing, only okay. Definitely wouldn't go out of my way for it, but you know, you gotta say you tried it in Italy. You can only, of course, you gotta say it. Thanks to a translator app that I was able to download, and I actually had it already, uh, I was able to communicate with the host over there, and we got our name on a list. So it's, it looks like it's more than 20 minutes. I'm gonna come back in about 15 or so, see if we can still get a table. Checking out kind of like a back alley area near Cafe Bonbon. Very few people now. We've left kind of the touristy area, more like the I guess, parking area for the locals. And even look, the st st stones on the ground up in the air. People live in these buildings. I wanted to serve them too, because they live here. Really, really nice, quiet area compared to the uh, super shopper district where we just were. 
Cool. I've been taking a moment to learn about a uh, recent artist, or a, a, a local artist, excuse me. Still super hot and tired. And actually, we can see him at work here. Buongiorno. Yeah, he's doing really well. Beautiful store. Wow. So cool. Here we are in the band bar. Clearly one of the most popular spaces in all of the Toromina. Glad we figured it out in advance. Waited probably like 25, 30 minutes. But luckily there was a list so we could come back to it. We're ready to try it. There are the available flavors, limon and a bunch of others. Part of the uh, kind of ice cream thing we're gonna get in a cup. Get a brioche as well. Maybe get lattes too, might do that, we'll see. But looking forward to it. That was the funniest order of all time. He came around with this phone. Nice guy. It's, but nobody speaks English here. Nobody. And I don't speak any Italian. I tried the translator. Uh, no. You kind of just kind of point to the stuff that you want. And you hope they get close. There's some stuff. I, it's going to be great. I have no... It's so funny. I think it's hilarious that this is actually an active, like, street. But clearly, it's... I mean, it's not a street to me. But it is to the Italians. It's just kind of cool. And there goes the car. I mean, it's a walkway to me. But... It's really cool. Peach and strawberry right there, and the coffee and almond right there looks delicious with two brioche buns. Let's dig in and see how it is. It's authentically Italian and Sicilian. Everybody's looking on, wishing they were here. Let's dig in. Truly outstanding, through and through, absolutely amazing. Not really a slushy, not really an ice cream, not really a daiquiri, but something in between. Definitely feels like the local experience. Unbelievable, loved every bite. Oh, highly recommend it, it's worth the wait. Absolutely is at the van bar. Okay, already finished the van bar. Delicious, absolutely loved it. For reference, it was 10 euros and 40 euro cents. Gosh, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, so really good, absolutely good deal, worth the wait and get in line early and maybe browse around. But if they call your name, you have to be here. So good to know. All right, a little bit more browsing and then we actually have to head back. I'm using the backtrack mode, by the way, on my Apple Watch so that I can, if I get lost, no problem. I can always find the bus again, so. Kind of a cool feature I'm trying out just for fun. All right, let's keep going. Hey, doggy. Believe it or not, with the cruise excursion, it's actually only three hours, so we're coming, not to the end of it, but gotta kind of start walking this direction, so. Oh well, that's okay. There's more to see, more to do, and uh, we'll do ship stuff too. Check out some of the uh, gift size versions of the Limoncello. I love the different bottles that they have. That's pretty cool. And I, I know Limoncello will be on the list probably next stop or the one after, but the pistachio liqueur thing, that might, I don't know. Is that, yeah, four liters or four milliliters? I don't know, for 10 euros. It seems like a small amount, actually. That sure does look good. Now, this is the view right here. This is what we're looking for from Taramina. Look at this view. Probably, I'd say a thousand feet down at least. Going all the way down there. Tons of yachts, nice houses. When I think of like the Italian countryside, I think of like this. Really cool. And it's like mixed with the touristy. Areas here in the mountains up above, church right there, and the really big like little plaza over here. Absolutely beautiful place. Wow. Been browsing just a bit more. There's this church here that I also want to see. I went to another church earlier. No filming in churches, of course. Holy place. But uh, just looking around, observing, appreciating. There's a lot to see in the city. We gotta get back to the bus soon though. Okay, leaving the old area again, going through this doorway, and headed back to the bus to get back to the ship. It was a fantastic time in Toromina. Glad we experienced it. Went to the Bam Bar and everything. So cool. Okay, back at the beyond now, and I think we're just gonna head right back in. It was such a fun day. Experiencing a bit of Sicily. Toromina was uh, was really unique and fun. Going through a security area here, so gotta make sure we get close attention and they get back on board. Walking around now, showered, changed, feeling a lot better. It was, it was an exhausting port. It really is. Not my all-time favorite in terms of the ones that we've uh, seen, but I'm really glad we came here. I'm really glad we saw Toromina. That was really cool. There's some more of the yachts and other ships all around here. Cool place. Very cool place. And a fun stop all right, on our European adventure. Time for a little snack of lunch. Not a heavy lunch right now, just a snack. Kind of a weird way to do lunch, I guess. Uh, salad, fries always. Beef arancini. Uh, provolone cheese and apple crumble. So there's, there's a fry on my apple crumble, but you get the idea. It's a uh, kind of a weird day, but good day for food. Looking forward to it. Let's dig in. That food was, was good. It was not amazing, but good. I found stuff that I haven't seen before. We got a bacon quiche here, egg and panada, and blueberry donuts. I mean, that all sounds really good. One, one last little bite, one last little bite. The egg and panada was good, not amazing. The quiche, the, the flaky outside, is made of something way too sweet. It's not, now it doesn't taste like quiche with the outside, but the inside was pretty good. Blueberry muffins, not bad. Pretty good, not amazing. So, the view's pretty good though. Here we are, Sicily, Italy. 
absolutely beautiful looking port. Not my favorite to actually like go down and visit and all that. I mean, it was cool to see Taormina. That was, that was really nice. But it's a, it's a really nice like photo op right here. Absolutely beautiful. All right, gonna go and play some maybe trivia around the ship, do some more onboard activities. We're actually kind of getting close to the uh, end of our time here anyway. So it really does fly by as you're having fun. And now it's time for dinner, a taste of Britain. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Maybe some fish and chips. It's gonna be great. For dinner tonight, we got fish and chips. We got bangers and mash and warm mashed potatoes. And we've got the chicken pot pie, which uh, looks pretty good. It didn't say pot pie, but chicken pie. Looking forward to digging in, let you know what I think. Overall thoughts on the food, it's okay. It's kind of lacking in flavor overall. I clearly have to get to London and try this for real. And you know, the bangers and mash were good, not amazing. Fish and chips have had better at Universal or Disney. Chicken pot pie is lacking basically all the chicken. It's just potato pot pie. And the, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was okay. Nothing amazing here. From Great Britain, we've got strawberry shortcake. Forgot the name of that one, caramel something. This is called Etten Mess. I'm sure someone, someone from the UK can tell me what that means. And uh, donut, let's dig in. The strawberry shortcake you can pass on. Etten Mess is pretty good. Just cream, fruit, and some kind of sugary things on top. This is like a banana chocolate fudge. I really like that one a lot, this whole cake. And then the donut's really good and the standard donut. All good ways to end the dessert. As we look out the window, the end of the evening. As we close out the night here, taking a look at this sunset here, absolutely gorgeous here in the, I believe, Ionian Sea, but it might be the Theocean Sea at this uh, point. One quick look through the window as we say goodnight. See you tomorrow for a spectacular day at another incredible port. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up where I'm going. Stay on the fly just in time, brother.